It is Friday, August 14th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including Three Gorges Reservoir braces for new round of floods. Next, courtesy of Financial Times, Beijing on flood alert as rains hamper China's economic recovery. Next, courtesy of CGTN, 219 people dead or missing in China's flood season this year. And we also have a series of photos released by CGTN of the recent floods along the Yangtze. And of course, we have some new footage playing in the back background of today's video. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And before checking on the status of the Three Gorges Dam, let's look upstream at the dam in Kuntan, where just yesterday the water level was only 170 meters, but overnight it rose up to 184 meters and the dam is currently discharging water at about 60,000 cubic meters per second. And now let's have a look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam. The current water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 153.36 meters. The current discharge is listed at 41,600 cubic meters per second. And the current inflow is 59,000 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And our first article of the day comes courtesy of China.org. Three Gorges Reservoir Braces for New Round of Floods. The Three Gorges Reservoir in central China's Hubei province is expected to see a new round of floods around Friday. According to a preliminary forecast by the Changjiang Water Resources Commission of the Ministry of Water Resources, the inbound flow of water is to reach more than 50,000 cubic meters per second after continuous heavy rain battered the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. The reservoir discharged water twice on Tuesday and Wednesday to prepare for the inflow. The commission asked the water resources departments of provinces and cities along the Yangtze River, including Sichuan, Shanqing, Hubei, and Shanxi to further strengthen flood forecasting and early warnings, and focus on flood control of small and medium-sized rivers. And our next article comes courtesy of FinancialTimes.com, Beijing on flood alert as rains hamper China's economic recovery. Beijing is on alert for flooding as China struggles with a series of severe weather events that are driving up food prices and threatening its economic recovery from the pandemic. The Beijing municipal government worried over a repeat of 2012 when flash floods killed about 80 people, has shut down parks, advised residents to avoid unnecessary travel, and canceled flights from its Daxing airport. The drainage system still needs improving, said Lu Zitong, 36, who lives in Beijing's traditional hutongs, or alleyway districts. He described how pipes in older courtyard homes overflowed during heavy rains. Throughout June and July, southern and central China were hit with days of incessant rain, at levels similar to 1998 when flooding killed more than 3,000 people. The flood has destroyed vast areas of crops. The floods are also threatening the country's north while a typhoon has made landfall on the southeast coast. China's consumer price index rose 2.7% in July, according to official data released on Monday, with food prices jumping 13% compared with the same period last year. Ting Lu, chief China economist at Nomura, said this week that flooding along the Yangtze River was partly behind the higher inflation, which he said had severely constrained production and shipments of agricultural products. Pork prices have already skyrocketed compared with last year because of the country's African swine fever epidemic, which has sharply reduced the pig population. Data from China's Ministry of Agriculture showed that an index of the prices of 28 vegetables was at its highest level of any summer in the past five years. Shanghai residents say vegetable prices in local markets have risen 10 to 20 percent compared with mid-June. The Communist Party has poured billions of dollars into massive infrastructure projects such as the Three Gorges Dam and claims flood control as one of its achievements. But this year's floods have severely tested the government's network of tens of thousands of dams, levees, and dikes along the Yangtze and its tributaries. 
To protect urban areas, the authorities were forced to channel record high water levels into downstream flood diversion areas, some of which had not been used in more than a decade, displacing thousands of farmers and ruining their crops. Environmentalists warn that rising global temperatures are going to worsen China's floods. Recent studies on climate change in China have proved that extreme precipitation events in China have become more frequent and intense over the past few decades, said Lu Junyan, a Beijing-based campaigner for Greenpeace. China's cities were unprepared for climate change because urban planning often used historical data that failed to reflect the risk from rising temperatures, Ms. Lu said. Despite being an arid, landlocked city with no natural rivers, Beijing's concrete sprawl lies in a basin and the city has long-standing problems with its urban drainage system. This makes its streets liable to flash flooding during these intense downpours. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And our next article is courtesy of CGTN, 219 people dead or missing in China's flood season this year. A total of 219 people have died or are missing and over 63.4 million people have been affected due to floods this year in China. Vice Minister of the Ministry of Emergency Management said in a press conference on Thursday, The casualties are 54.8% less compared to the average number of the previous five years, Chow noted. The flood has also caused direct economic losses worth 178.96 billion yuan, that's some 25.78 billion US dollars, and damaged infrastructure including 54,000 collapsed houses. The major flood season in China arrived this year on June 1st, as downpours lashed several provinces and caused rising water levels in rivers and lakes, including the Yangtze River. Across China, a total of 634 rivers have seen floods occurring this year, with water exceeding the warning level, among which 194 rivers have seen water go over the guarantee level, and 53 broke historic records. And our last piece of information is a series of photographs released by CGT and Culture of the recent floods on the Yangtze River. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.